Crossing Elementary. It is a beautiful day. We are so happy to be here yes. with you learning about Jesus. So let's all get ready to stand up and worship. All right, Crossing kids, everybody stand up. We're going to continue in worship. Put your hands up. We're going to say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. When, when I, I have, have tough decisions, decisions to make, God helps me. That is such mm -hmm. a good big idea. Let's say it again. One, two, three. When, when I, I have, have tough decisions, decisions to make, God, God helps, helps me. me. What's that mean, Pastor Maria? So, you know, sometimes we have a really hard time deciding what should I do. Should I read this book or read that book? That's a simple one, you know. Yeah. But there are some times when it's really a lot tougher decisions. Yeah. Like, should I go do this thing with this person when I'm mm. feeling like I'm not so sure? Yeah. But if we go to the Lord, he will help us make those decisions. He really does. And just get, get quiet with him. Yeah. 
get some time and say, Lord, what should I do? And he will definitely help you make that tough decision. Amen, amen. Yes. He really does. Two promises the Bible makes is that God will always be with us and that when we ask for it, he gives us wisdom. That's right. So we know we're good. Yep. We just have to ask. Yep. Let's say that big idea one more time. One, two, three. When, when I, I have, have tough decisions, decisions to make, God, God helps me. Awesome. Good yes. job, Crossing Kids. Good job. That was job. so good. All Make right. sure that you're standing because we're going into worship. Yes. All right, Crossing Kids. Everybody stand up. We're going to continue in worship. I want you to really focus on God in this moment. Shadows. 
everybody have a seat. I had no idea fixing a foundation could be so noisy. I'm Harper, and this is the time we learned how to make wise decisions. Oh, it's so much quieter in here. I can actually hear myself think. Well, hey, why don't we just spend the rest of the day in here? Does that sound good to everyone? Oh. The construction workers actually have a question for me. Can you guys handle everything up here while I'm gone? Yeah, we'll handle everything, Tony. Don't worry. Now I just gotta find my earmuffs. Wow, it is really noisy down there. That's why we're all hiding up here. Is that a postcard? Yes, I checked the mailbox while I was in the hub. How'd you reach it? I have unexpectedly long arms. Can I take a look? Sure. I have the postcard. Oh, right. <clears throat> Hi, Connect HQ. I'm not always good at making decisions. It takes me forever to make a choice, and I don't feel like it's always the best one. How do I know I'm doing what's right? Sign Serena Vasquez. Wait. The Serena Vasquez? Like the Serena Vasquez? Isn't she kind of a big deal on Instagram? She's not just a big deal. She's the big deal. I wouldn't mind handling this transmission. Oh, but Harper, you're so busy. Why don't I do it? I have the time. I've always wanted to make a transmission. Oh, I'm sorry, Claire. I'm not sure you can make a transmission. I think you might have to work at Connect HQ to send one. Okay, so obviously this is a really tough decision to make because we're all fans of Serena's. So why don't we figure out who the best decision maker is and that person can send the transmission. Sound fair? So how do we decide who is the best decision maker? Well, here's what I do know about making tough decisions. We all face them every now and then, but when we do have a tough decision to make, God helps us. When I have tough decisions to make, God helps me. When I have tough decisions to make, God helps me. I learned this lesson a couple years ago when I had to choose between soccer and dance. When I asked God to help me, he helped me choose. No one gives us better wisdom than God. That's true. That's a good point. And I think that advice would help Serena. Maybe you should be the one to make the transmission, Harper. Actually... Remember what happened two weeks ago? I guess not. Well... What's she doing, Harper? Two new restaurants open up nearby, and I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch, but it's tough. They both look so good. It's three in the afternoon. How long have you been trying to decide? I was supposed to meet Alyssa five minutes ago for a meeting. That's it. I'm going with Italian. Yep, Italian. But wait, the Chinese restaurant has boba tea. I love boba tea. Oh yeah, that did happen. Really? Making decisions can still trip me up. If I had remembered to ask God for help, I think he would have told me that my meeting with Alyssa mattered more than what I had for lunch that day. That makes sense, but how do we know what God wants us to do? You know what? I watched a Bible link in the archives yesterday that might help us answer this question. Let's take a look. The night before Jesus chose to suffer and die, he and his disciples went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus asked for Peter, James, and John to stay awake and pray for him. Jesus went to a quiet place by himself and prayed to his Father. He was honest about how he was feeling and asked if God would keep him from having to suffer. Jesus told his Father he would still trust his plan and choose to obey it, even if it would be painful and hard to do. He said, But let what you want be done. Father, not what I want. Jesus returned to his disciples and found them asleep. Disappointed, he woke them up and asked them to keep watch and pray. Even though his disciples couldn't stay awake to pray for him, Jesus didn't give up talking with God about the choice he had to make. 
The third time Jesus found his disciples asleep, angry people showed up to arrest him. Jesus knew he would suffer if he went with those people, but he chose to go with them anyway. Peter tried to fight against the men there to arrest Jesus, but Jesus told him, Do you think I can't ask my father for help? He would send an army of more than 70,000 angels right away. But then how would the scriptures come true? They say it must happen this way. This shows us Jesus could have chosen to avoid suffering, but he trusted God's plan instead. He decided to follow his father's plan. His father's plan wasn't easy. It meant Jesus was arrested, put through an unfair trial, and died a horrible death on the cross to take the punishment for our sins, a punishment he didn't deserve. But that wasn't the end of God's plan. Jesus came back to life three days after he died. Because of his choice to follow his Father, we can receive forgiveness and be made right with God. All we have to do is choose to accept the sacrifice Jesus made for us. Hey, Crossing Kids, it is time for our memory verse. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So it is so important that we get the word of the Lord in our hearts mm -hmm. and we memorize it so that it can come out when we need it the most. Yep. So Pastor Mary Lee is going to lead us. I will lead you. And you guys are going to work with me. You're going to follow Pastor Maria. Yes. Okay, here we go. James 1, 5. James 1, 5. If any of you need wisdom. If any of you need wisdom. Ask God for it. Ask God for it. And he will give it to you. And he will give it to you. Nice. Good High job. five it. Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? I'm going to lead. James 1, 5. James 1, 5. If any of you need wisdom. If any of you need wisdom. Ask God for it. Ask God for it. And he will give it to you. And he will give it to you. So cool. That is so very cool. good. So, guys, if you're lacking... If you need more of his help, all you got to do is ask. Yeah. Just ask. ask. And how do we ask? By praying, by talking to God. It's that simple. It's that easy. And I think sometimes we forget. We do. Just to ask because it's so simple. But all you got to do is slow down and you got to ask God for help. Okay? Let's do it one more time together. Here we go. James 1, 5. James 1, 5. If any of you need wisdom, if any of you need wisdom, ask God for it. Ask God for it. And he will give it to you. And he will give it to you. Awesome. Great job. Great job. Yay. Let's go back to HQ. HQ. Here we come. Jesus had the toughest possible decision to make. He could have asked his father to send thousands of angels to protect him instead of dying on the cross. Instead, he trusted God's will so much that he decided to die and save us. No matter how tough the decisions we face may be, we can still follow Jesus' example. Go to God. Make a habit out of asking him to help you every time a hard choice comes your way. Because when I have tough decisions to make, God helps me. That's right. Jake, maybe you should make the transmission for Serena. I think your advice could really help her. Except... What? When I stopped by Connect HQ earlier this week, well... Oh, uh, Jake, uh, what's, what's wrong? Mike asked me to order four pizzas, and instead of ordering four, I accidentally ordered 14. I'm hiding the evidence. Do you think that's the best? Sorry, I have four more pizzas to hide. So that's why Connect HQ has smelled like pizza all week long. I just thought Maurice was eating the air ducts again. I finally told Mike what I had done, and he wasn't mad at me. But it's still not one of my prouder moments. It can be easy to make bad choices when you're worried. We all mess up sometimes. You know what? In the moment, I did ask God what to do. But I was so worried, I didn't even wait long enough to hear what he had to say. God will show us what the right thing to do is if we just ask him for help. And Captain Ray told me he does this in all sorts of different ways, through Bible verses and stories, through songs and other people who love God. We just need to calm down, wait, and listen. That's perfect, Jaden. Maybe you should be the one to send the transmission to Serena. Claire, do you have anything else to say? Now that you mention it. How are you everywhere at once? Hey, Claire. Do you know if there's a speaker in here somewhere I could use? No, why? <laughs> okay, well, Serena, 
Vasquez just released a new song, and I want to listen to it on full blast. Oh, hey, the tablet says there's a speaking range. I'll just play it through that. Are you sure you know what you're... <laughs> I heard that music from my house. <laughs> yeah, we received a lot of noise complaints that day. Nate and the Good News Group really had their work cut out for them. Sometimes I make bad decisions when I don't think through my actions ahead of time. So what are we gonna do? Who's gonna send the transmission? Well, I'd be happy to make a transmission for Serena. I might not work for Connect HQ, but I'm the only person who hasn't made a bad decision lately. Also, my stomach doesn't feel so good. Claire, you've been eating jelly beans all day. Did you really think that was a good decision? Well, of course. They're just so good and I couldn't stop eating them. It's just, I just didn't make a wise choice. Hey guys, the workers said they're almost done with the foundation. Tony! Tony you have to help us! Help you with what? With sending a transmission. None of us are good enough decision makers to send it to Serena Vasquez. First, who's Serena Vasquez? <gasps> and second, none of us are perfect decision makers. The best thing that we can do is ask God for his wisdom and base our decisions on what he says. Oh yeah, that's right. Why didn't you guys just ask God for help deciding on who should make the transmission? The answer was staring at us the entire time. When I have tough decisions to make, God helps me. Hi, Serena. I'm Jaden, and this is Harper, Jake, and Claire. We all know a little something about making good decisions. Whenever you have a tough decision to make, ask God to show you which choice is best, and He will show you the path that best follows His way. And that's the wisest thing you can do. Even Jesus needed His Father's help making good decisions. Before He chose to die on the cross for our sins, He talked to His Father and decided to trust that His Father's way was best. None of us are perfect at making decisions. Sometimes, we let our feelings decide for us instead of calming down and choosing God's way. But when we make a habit of talking to God about the decisions we're facing, He'll help us learn what to do in tough situations. So the next time you ask God for help making decisions, pay attention to the people you talk to, the Bible stories you hear, and the worship songs you sing. He'll use things like that to answer you. Don't forget, when I have tough decisions to make, God helps me. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you.